and welcome back to Lebanon Valley for St. Clair College here in this intense matchup here. Final game of regular season for the NECC League here and your St. Clair Saints, they're in a playoff positioning despite if they lose tonight. However, for Lebanon, it is not that case. They are going to most likely have to pick up a win here tonight in order to make playoffs or at least a very, very close to one loss. Uh, they started off phenomenally with a 1-0 map lead for the side of Lebanon. And uh, now they're just looking to keep running forwards with that going here. Now starting on the attacking side of Haven and map number two, St. Clair Saints. Looking to turn things around here a little bit as well. Donka, how are you feeling about this game? Oh, I'm feeling great. I mean, right now, like we were talking about it, GRC going on jet. Like we see, we seen GRC on jet when he's like opping. It is is just too good for him on, especially Haven. Yeah, I, I, that's one thing we are really looking to see. JRC on the jet. Um, I want to see him on Haven. And if the Saints do come through and actually win this map here, I also want to see him on that jet on Breeze. We were talking about that a lot there during that break is how we really want to see that jet. Uh, or it, it might not have to be JRC, preferably JRC. But the jet for St. Clair opping on Breeze, if they do actually make, make it there, I think is going to be absolutely massive. I'd love to see some opping Breeze plays. But... Besides that, we got to focus on this map number two here right now in front of us. Pistol round coming through here. You will see a Sheriff from Casper. The rest of them are going to have Ghosts or Classic. And it, we'll see how this one goes. It does look like we will be seeing the A site or like mid kind of as the focus here early on from the side of uh, Le uh, Lebanon Valley here. But nonetheless, here we go. Getting underway. Map number two. Looks like they're, yeah, you're right. They're, they oh. might be going A. Yeah, Wombat actually took a lot of damage there early. I'm not sure if that was a shot or if it was the Shock Dart. But either way, he took down a decent amount of damage there from Wombat's HP level. But it does look like this push is actually head towards Garage here. Now, can Vcan make it out with his life? He does, but do they know that he's in this corner? Yes, he does. Now he will sneak all the way around. Trying to see if anybody's long, but nobody will be home. So, VK in there. That camera just got so much intel. There's four players in Garage stacked up, and St. Clair knows it. Casper doesn't care. He wants to redeem himself. He had a little bit of an off game last game there, but wants to bounce back here right now. He does have the Sheriff up here in Garage. Doesn't spot anything quite yet. Does not still see that player in the back lines, but he does fire off some Sheriff shots here now. Wombat still tagged down, and they're going to try to swing things around here. It does look like the pressure for the side of Lebanon will be headed towards A. Looks like that the, also the Jet, she's just going to be holding off on B, just waiting to be the last... The rotations. Yeah. To cut it off. Yep. And and that's going to... Like, the Jet's been doing that all game for Lebanon Valley, and I, I got to give them props for it. it. It's been working consistently. Claude didn't go down early. That's a great pick for Casper, as we know that Claude's been having a fairly good series for himself. Maybe not on pistols, but you know what I mean, right? So JRC going to swing through, finds out rain off, spots out another. That's going to be Nyx, but Nyx will clean it up. Casper getting a refrag. I don't know who finds that one, though, but VK, not another refrag. Three on one in favor of St. Clair and the last player for Lebanon Valley will be that Jet who does come through on a flank. Finds one, almost finds Casper, but Casper with a 3k closes it out for St. Clair and they open up this game pretty nicely. Yeah, Casper is redeeming his, himself. <laughs> yeah. You just said that, yeah. He just, I think he just got half the kills that he had all of last game in this one round. So, hey. Yeah, there's a great start ready. So got a 3k already starting us off here. You know, JRC VCAN coming through there and helping out as well. Only taking three deaths, also massive for them. And Wombat, despite, you know, not getting a frag or and dying, he does get two assists to go with it. So it will help him out a little bit economically as well. So overall, not bad by any means necessary. But the thing is, is Lebanon is force buying, and their force buy is still pretty solid because they got a plant and three frags. So at this point in time, this is still anybody's round. Despite, you know, St. Clair winning that round number one, like I was saying, anybody's round here. Yeah, the first three rounds don't really determine anything. Mo mostly for fourth and fifth round will determine whether a team is... Yeah, where it's like swinging in their yeah. favor more. I, I know exactly what you're saying there, because the fourth, fifth round is also oh when you build up more of that economic value too. Uh, I know I've been talking so much about economy throughout this whole game, but it's guy got to. It's a big factor of things. V can and Blossom go down early, but Wombat will get a refrag at least onto the rain of there. So there's a good start. But the one thing I am concerned of is this. This is not what you want to deal with. Not what you want to deal with. Claude once again pulls out the Ares, shuts it down in Garage. Honestly, if you're St. Clair, I wouldn't be surprised if you're tilting in result of having to deal with that. Like, it's not fun. JRC getting a flank will find that pick, but it's still a two on three now. And it's all up to Casper and JRC coming through here. That's a great rain eye to really try to open things up, but it will not work out fully how you'd like. And it will result in I don't know who and Nick. Clean things up. Lebanon Valley on the force by will even up the scoreline. Yeah, now that 
that really puts St. Clair in a f in a good position of buying? Maybe not. No, it, it really doesn't by any means. It actually just does uh, a lot worse there for them because at this point in time, they, they'll barely have enough money for next round. Like, if you look at Casper and Vcan specifically, those players at 1,200 and lower um, are going to have a very, very difficult time getting a buy going into next round. So that's actually due... That is actually why you see JRC sell a little bit there or... Whatnot, and you see now. Okay, final buys are looking like they came through. Everybody saves a decent bit of money except for Casper. He has 1100, which is all right, save, but he does actually opt for a Vandal. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I believe that he's, gonna, he's also going to be able to buy for next round, too. Now, do either of them. Okay, this is so interesting. They Neither of them know each other are here. Nyx is watching a flank, JRC is watching a push. And JRC going to get the first little bit of intel on that leg, and I think he finds the frag here. No, did he not see that leg? They have to be playing on like 3x4 then, and we're probably on like 16x9. You know what? I see that all the time when covering CSGO games. I'm casting in 16x9 resolution, players are playing in 4x3, I see things they can't, and honestly, it might have been a situation that we just saw there. That, that was... Because mm. if you look at things, JRC had all the intel he needed to go through Standing and win that gunfight, uh, but won't be the case. St. Clair, now on a 3 on 5, trying to turn things around. Now, Wombat gets all the intel that he needs. Yeah, but he does get tagged down to 38 HP in the process. Just gonna make things a little bit more difficult, and you'll, that's exactly why you're gonna see him toss his Vandal over to his friend Vcan to try to do something with it, rather than him at very minimal HP. Wombat, though, will send through a nice little Sova Dart there, and Reynai comes through as well. Some frags coming through, but it will all be in favor of Lebanon. Lebanon go from losing the first round to answering back with two of their own, and a flawless, just to put some salt in the wound. Personally, like this is obviously like personally, right? I don't like the Aries, but I oh, respect people uh, that use it. I, I gotta <laughs> give respect. Like, like we're talking about this with like you know Dan behind the scenes just after this. You have to give respect to Claude for using it. You, you we can't just sit here and be like, oh man, that's toxic. You're using an Aries. No, <laughs> you gotta respect it because it's such a niche gun. Sorry, niche gun that can really just be utilized so well if used right. Something we don't see used every day. And Aries is specifically like the Odin we see a lot more than the Aries, but. He's just pulling out the Ares and using it like it's a phantom and just absolutely frying because the time to kill on the Ares and Odin are nuts once you start shooting because they're just spraying so fast. Yeah, I agree with you. Looks like that they also might be going B while Wombat and uh, Ion who are just fighting it out of here. I hate little cheeky gunfights listening like that when they're both just like slightly peeking back and forth and then they just send down smokes, they're firing through smokes, that was just a mayhem of a gunfight. VKN will get smoked off here over towards Nest and Garage and it's all up to the arena here now to try to make something work off it and uh, it does look like when this smoke clears we might have an engagement. Yeah. I really love VKN's positioning here. Oh, V-Can! Exactly why I loved his positioning. Lines them up, shuts them down. That's two for St. Clair, putting them in a five-on-three player advantage. I believe... Oh, no, they don't have the spike. Uh, Sova has the spike. And reliable. He's one HP. Or not one HP, but very, very, very weak. 30 seconds um, left. Nonetheless, though, I mean, yeah, this is not going to be easy, but Claude does... Pick up another somehow with that Sova. He's going to be essentially at 1 HP here now too. Reliable goes down. Claude's 1 HP. And uh, a lot of this is going to be up to oh Lebanon Sova. Yeah, it's a 4v2 right now for SCC, I believe. Yeah, that's going to be the Lebanon Sova getting shut down. There's one, but that will be an answer back. No, sorry, not the Sova, the Cypher. Um, but there we go. The Cypher finds another up. Blossom trades it out. And St. Clair even up the scoreline now 2-2. Now, it looks like the SCCR just bringing it back. They're like, yeah, they're, okay. they're bringing it closer together. I will say that. Um, it just it kind of still concerns me. The fact that Lebanon's still able to get a full buy and Claude's able to get an Odin with full armor and full util. That's a little scary, personally. Um, when St. Clair can't really afford anything kind of similar to that, you will see VCAM forced onto light armor and Wombat forced onto a Spectre. In res or, sorry, actually. Yeah, yeah, that, that is the case. So, I mean, that's the thing. That's the downside right now. And if you look at it too, Lebanon Valley still has tons of money remaining really despite idea. even if they lose this round. Economy-wise, Lebanon Valley have a huge upper hand. They also have an idea that they might be going A. Oh, Wombat needed at least one there and he can't find it. Now it's also going to allow the Reyna to overheal. Exactly. Thank goodness for Casper to find one and another and a third for JRC and Casper. 
That is going to be a bunch of massive picks as Casper picks up another on the Reyna. This A push is getting shut down before it even started. Claude, last player alive with the Odin. The Odin's a really good gun, but not in a 1v1 or a 1v2, or in this case, a 1v3. St. Clair looking to take another round after this. They can shut down Claude. But this is what makes the Odin so good. But now the thing is... Yeah, like, look at that, dude. Like, it, it's underrated. You know, I never thought you can get a headshot with the Odin. Oh, it, it, and it, when you do, it's like a Guardian headshot. He almost found another there. Blossom gonna clean it up, though. St. Clair gonna pick up a third here. Now Lebanon Valley gonna drop and down again. Once down by one. And, uh... Here we go. We're going to uh, get a little bit of a replay on that initial fight there. We love this new instant replay feature. So let's give a recap of it. It will be Wombat. Not able to pick up one there, but he does get a lot of damage done. It will allow the Reyna to overheal, but Casper gets a big pick on Nyx in the process. JRC comes through, lines up those two massively. I don't know who will get a refrag, but Casper refragging the person who got that refrag initially. Now it ultimately leaves that into a three-on-one situation that St. Clair can clean up with kind of ease. Uh, great stuff from St. Clair there to close that one out over Lebanon Valley. Entry frags were on point. You know what I'm surprised right now? GRC, he's not using an op. Uh, I, it's, we're still early. That's the thing that I'm not really crazy surprised. St. Clair hasn't built up enough money for him to actually get a decent op buy to go with the rest of his team. I think we should see one here maybe in a bit. But as of now, things are kind of like working right now. Don't fix what's not broke. I, I feel like, you, the, yes, you did drop two rounds, but they were the second and third rounds. I wouldn't stress too much about it. Okay. I'll hold you to your word. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Donk. I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Casper. Gonna be watching mid here. Might get a pick, but Reliable actually got the intel, I believe, that Casper is on that left side. Reliable is also on knives here, so this could be a threat for Casper. I like the positioning, though. Yeah, they're, they're just in a standoff right now. It's a no man's and we, land. We've seen a lot of those this game already. Just standoffs where, like, two players opposite sides of a wall, whatnot. Um, it's going to be the Reyna, John Cook, trying to get something going here over towards this A site. Uh, but not a whole lot's going to come from it. Now, Casper has the intel he needs on the jet. Jet will make his cross. The light machine gun spray didn't work out as nicely as they wanted it to. I don't know who, though, is very far pushed up in the garage, uh, which could make things a bit more concerning, but Casper going to shut it down, and now it's an A push all onto the jet of St. Clair. JRC's got a lot of work to do over here towards A, and now it's going to be St. Clair pretty much playing off retakes. They know that Reliable's still here, I think, but maybe not, because it doesn't look like they're worrying too much about... Uh, you know, him over there now. Yeah, Reliable will find one instantly trade up from Blossom. JRC and Blossom getting so many plays. The dash is so good! The dash is so good. We were talking about this before the stream even starts. He can just drop down, gets the intel, dashes out. Yes, he loses his life in the end of the day. Actually, wait, no, he didn't. Never no, mind. He, didn't. He, doesn't, he doesn't lose his life. No, the one we one player that drops there for St. Clair, but a great cleanup. St. Clair going to now be leading 4-2. He actually, I believe he also killed him. Did he get? No. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Because Casper, Casper, okay, so JRC dropped. And then uh, Reyna was uh, focusing on Cas or JRC, and then JRC ja dashed out with half HP, and Casper died, and then he uh, uh, JRC killed the, the yeah. Reyna. Yeah, that's crazy. JRC, I love JRC on Jet, to be honest. It's one of, I, I just love watching it. It's such a masterpiece. His dashes, you can definitely tell there's been practice put into those mechanics, and great stuff there. But 4-2, Sinclair doubling the scoreline right now of Lebanon Valley early in this game, and they're looking to keep this momentum going as they've had a rough little bit of a map one there. And it, what did you start, Claude? Like, Claude, what did you start? And it's going to be JRC taking down Reliable. So great entry frags there, and he will fall off. That's what I'm happy about JRC. He didn't get too greedy on that play, but he will have a couple players to deal with still over here. Claude making his way over here now as well, but he will be tagged down to 43 HP. And there's actually no healer for either side, which is something I find a little bit odd, but... Nonetheless, it doesn't really matter too much. Casper shuts down Claude. Five on three, but Nyx will find one. And Wombat, yeah, smart decision to not take that gunfight. Cover, yeah, also, uh, Casper, he he just killed one of them, and then he's seen, like, two oh. more. Nyx will find that frag. He does get tagged once, but maybe a big one there. But no, V can't shut down from Heaven as well. Now a three on two in favor of Lebanon Valley. Now three on one. St. Clair, what happened? The A retakes are just getting shut down as of here. Blossom, last player alive, one on three, trying to do something. It's, I, think, I think it's more worth it for him to go for it, right? Like, instead of saving this? I mean, depending on the economy, I didn't really get a good look on it. But, yeah, nonetheless, John Cook cleans it up, and that's another one for Lebanon Valley. But a little bit closer of a game here than we saw last time around. Wombat having a tough start to this one. But Casper, I think we can all agree that he's definitely turned things around here going into this game, too. Yeah, he's like, you know what? With Yuru, 
It's a 50-50. Yeah. But with, with Reina, Reina, with Reina it, it's a 100-100. <laughs> so, yeah, he's going to be hopping on that Reina. He's been playing it well. I love Casper's eyes uh, with that Reina. I think he does a really good job with them. Uh, really, you know, utilizing them to the best of their ability. And he's really good at just Come using that Reina Util. So, that's what we do like to see there. We do see a buy come through. Wombat will be stuck onto a Frenzy and Light Armor. I think that's the only really, like, massive concern here for the side of the Saints. But, let's see how this one plays out. As we can see, they are pushing C, I believe, and Garage. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not easy because St. Clair does not have a lot of defense over here. Vcan does go one for one. It, it's a lot better than him just getting shut down from I don't know who. So at least that is there for them. But now at this time, it's Casper really looking, really hoping he found a frag there, but just wasn't able to come through with it. Does I out and gets himself a little bit more intel. But Wombat also will get flashed out here from the Omen and Garage. But big ones maybe from Casper. The dismissal was big there for him. Now a three on three, a lot more winnable for St. Clair, but time's of the essence. This bomb is ticking. They need to go here and they need to go soon. Casper trying to come through here. They got to get out of this defending side spawn and just make their entries. JRC going to fly in with knives. He does spot out one in long haul. Peeking up these corners, doesn't spot anything through. There's one for Casper and there's one for Wombat. They're just going to hold this player long. They find it and they have plenty of time for the defuse. St. Clair going to be winning now five to three. Wow. Did he just shoot a bot? <laughs> Did Casper just shoot a body? I don't know. But no. Casper, he's just shooting the bomb. No, he's just shooting the bomb. Anyways, St. Clair. Wow. What a retake, Donka. Uh, honestly, I thought that they were for sure going to lose that. Oh, I, I, thought... I agree. Like, you see, like, who was it that was stuck in Garage with a frenzy? Like, I'm surprised that, like, they were even able to come out of that situation. But I think it was... Yeah, we're going to actually get a replay on this one here. Perfect. This is what we like to see. JRC was... Went massive here. He comes through with his knives. He gets a lot of intel in that corner. And it will result in Casper and Wamba able to find these frags. Now, the thing is, if you're Claude, why do you peek that? The, do, do you think it's a smart peek from Claude there to peek that long? and Because like, he will get fragged out just like he did. Um, I think if Claude just waits another two seconds there and then swings that a little bit, it, it makes it a lot more beneficial for him. Now, I don't know about you, but I know that he had his alt. He, he could have just waited oh. and you just use his alt. Wow, I didn't even realize that, to be honest. Good catch. But, yeah, looks like they're going to try it again, though. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Blossom will open us up yeah. on a next. Casper over here just watching a little bit of a rotation out. Casper's in a great spot. They have to go B, essentially, or Casper's going to cut them off on a rotation. And, like, look at this. There's so many players from St. Clair here just cutting them off on rotations. This Astro Star goes down, forces them back on a B. They're pinched. They cannot get out of this, like, little corner. And they don't even know Casper's here yet. There. The trigger discipline's so big. Patience is key. Look at the trigger. Trigger discipline. There's one. There's two. Pick it up, please. Please. I want it for you, Casper. No, he's getting shot down from the Marshal. But... Great plays. Like, there's the 200 IQ plays from Casper that I love to watch, right? He runs through mid. They get the intel. It's a five stack on B. That's the problem with five stacking sites at this level of play. If you five stack a site at this level of play, you will get caught off on it and you will get called out on it and go, like, someone like Casper will wrap around and do a play like that, right? You're doing this in silver lobbies. It's a little bit better to five stack a site. You're, you're, you're fine with that. But in this case, that pinch was so good that they had just had them locked and be long. You can't go anywhere. Like, there's two players on each side of your exits. <sighs> that was a sick play, to be honest. And now, as we can see, we have oh two Odins on each side. This is giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> what am I watching, man? JRC opens us up on a reliable. We'll get refragged from John Coke, but VCAN will take down the Cypher, being I don't know who. And uh, now it's a four on three player advantage for St. Clair. They're really turning things around here in this map too. Yes, they've been some very close rounds, but St. Clair just looking like they look a little bit more, what is it, like crisp. Like the plays look finalized. Things are working out cleaner. They look like they're warmed up. Yeah, I, I agree. John Cook though will take down Vcan and a tough gunfight there for him. And the overheal's now through. I hate Reyna overheal, man. I can't stand it because like, e e oh. I, coming from like FPS games where you can't like just heal, right? You, you come and you're like, all right, I tagged him down to 20 HP. Come on, clean him up. Next thing you know, three seconds later, he's back at 150 and you got to take on a full on gunfight. But here we are, three on three, Lebanon Valley. They got a little bit of control over C here now. Thing is, is they really don't know about Astra. Yeah, for sure. Astra, Blossom, we'll find one, we'll find a second. Astra, sneaky, sneaky deaky like over there on that B site. Now leaving it all up to the Reyna being John Cook and Wombats on the defuse. Yeah, Blossom 3k. Shuts down the B site. Astra 
like I was saying, Sneaky Deaky, like, plays that one phenomenally. We're 10 rounds through, and St. Clair's leading 7-3. to three. Uh, A much different scoreline than what we saw last game. Oh, yeah. I have a question for you. What do you think that Lebanon Valley can do to bring it back before switching to... I think to they got to play for picks. Like, they're really trying to deady sites right now rather than playing off of their picks, right? St. Clair is giving them the option to play off of picks. Like, St. Clair is not playing slow. Casper was in their attacking side of the spawn within 20 seconds on the round that they focused C, right? I think the big thing here for Lebanon... Lebanon, sorry? Take a step back. Play it slow. Figure out what's going on in front of you and really kind of adjust to it instead of just coming up with the play and then committing to it no matter what. Oh, Casper. He got baited out by that dash through, right? It's going to leave Reyna with a frag from behind. But yeah, now a five on four. It's Lebanon looking a little bit better here now. But oh my god, do it to him. No, Wombat. Great try. But VK cleans up John Cook. Nats will be another player through. Another kill. And that will be Nyx tagged as well. Blossom cleans it up. St. Clair is playing their trades perfectly. He runs into another Blossom. Shut him down. He is going crazy right now for the Saints. Lebanon in a one on three. All up the clot in his dear old dear Aries. Oh, lo lo uh, Lebanon. <laughs> Odin versus Ares, and Wombat cleans it up. Wow. The light machine guns, bro. What, like, <laughs> what a finale of the regular season. Like, this is awesome to watch. I, I was trying to say Astra, and I was like, Lebanon, Lebanon. I'm like, why, why am I saying Lebanon? <laughs> I want to say Astra. Sure. Astra was on 50 HP. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I will have to give props, though, to Lebanon for this. They're still staying very consistent as a team. They're still staying in that same, like, kind of kill gap. Like, everybody's still kind of holding their own a little bit there. Like, Reliable and Claude maybe having a little bit of a slower start this game, but they had a really good game last game, so it's all right. Uh, but John Cook, Nyx, and then, uh, forget the last one there. But for Lebanon, like, they, they're staying very consistent, and it's, like I said, it's good to have that. Reliable will open us up on a JRC here now, and that's going to make things a little bit different. But Casper, with an op actually going to come through, but he instantly drops that op to pick up a Vandal once he realizes they're going to have to play retakes. I think, honestly, part of me thinks that op should have went A. Part of me. I mean, I, if I had the op, especially that JRC is not alive, I would go ahead and uh, take it up to heaven. Even if I don't use it, I would just take it over there and use a different gun then so that I can be able to save it. So many Aster utility coming through here. I think that's from St. Clair. Casper going to find one on John Cook here early. Wombat finds one as well. VKM finds one. Casper finds one. 2v1 now all up to the Sova. And that's going to be Claude. Shut down Casper with the 3k. And St. Clair is not holding back. Looking absolutely relentless right now. How do you think the mentality of both teams are doing right now, especially after last okay. game. St. Clair's mentality went from, you know, that even line they started up, you know, basic mentality, went absolutely low, like so down bad, because usually they're not getting beat as bad as they did against teams that with a negative record, like Lebanon Valley, last map. So the, the momentum of morale definitely was very, a little, like pretty much an all-time low, but you come through here now, and that momentum is instantly flipped back on, and you're on an above average momentum and morale here now for the Saints. It's really going to help them out with just teamwork, uh, calm and communication, and just general plays, right? You can play a lot more calm, you can have a lot more calm communications with your teammates, and you can just focus up more. Here. What about Lebanon now? Lebanon, though, on the other hand, I think their morale is still okay because they know that they're on, you know, I don't know. I feel like they know they're on the attacking side. They still have a map. I think the big thing for Lebanon in the back of their minds is that they still have a map um, on St. Clair right now, which gives them that huge, you know, kind of head start advantage type thing. I believe uh, also St. Clair chose the map. Yeah, so pistol round, actually. St. Clair on the offense now. I didn't even realize we were just at halftime, but St. Clair on the pistols, doing a pretty good job early. They are going to get this full sight control. They are getting a plant down, and they get an early pick on to Lebanon's Reyna. So five on four for Saints. How can they play this one through? Let's find out. Reliable will come through here around on a flank, but no way. Blossom will take down Nyx, and Blossom finds I don't know who as well. Wombat cleaning up with a frenzy on a Claude, and Casper with the ghost to Reliable. St. Clair College will pick up a 10th in Lebanon Valley, having a tough time to find an answer here. And you know what? Lebanon Valley had a great map one, as we were saying. They had a, they won like 13 to six or 13 to seven, and it's really good for their playoff run for round differential, map differential, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But this is all getting canceled out right here, right now by St. Clair. If you're Lebanon Valley, it's okay if you drop this map. It's okay, in my opinion. But you need, need, need at least seven rounds. I'm just not for this game or anything, but for your seeding going into playoffs, or even just to make playoffs for Lebanon.
This goes I don't know if you remember what I was saying like the other time, like the last time that you and I commentated together, but the best offense or the best defense is offense. <laughs> yeah, it's something like that, but it definitely comes to light every time we're on a broadcast. It's going to be once again a retakes forced to happen on Lebanon. Uh, there is the player stuck in the smoke, though, which could cause for a big concern, especially since all their backs are turned to him. The smoke's about to drop in any second, and Reliable is got it. But if one for one, you take those all day for that him being in that positioning. Now Claude, though, gonna get shut down, doesn't even find one. St. Clair, like you were saying, the best defense is offense. They're going crazy on these post plants, and it's a near flawless round. The attacking side gonna take a round there for the Saints once again. They're leading 11 to three here now. And do you think there's hope for Lebanon Valley in this map still, or no? Do you think it's, do you think you kind of chalk it up, write it off, put the nail in the coffin right now for the side of uh, Lebanon? Or do you think there's still a very good chance that they can come through here, claw back, win eight in a row or something, and potentially win this game? Very high, highly unlikely, like, but yeah. it's not impossible. Yeah, I completely agree, right? The odds, it's like a one to 1,000 odds kind of right now for <laughs> Lebanon to come through and win this game. But especially on the buy they got, a judge, a specter, call of pistols. Uh, it's not going to be nice going against these five specters from St. Clair. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult, especially that now that uh, Lebanon is going through Garage. So here we go, we see more come through. VCAN will open this up, takes down Reliable, and that's going to be the Judge, though, going a little bit big, but does it matter? When VCAN and Blossom can make plays like that, turn and burn with the Ghost, shut him down, Casper cleans up Nyx, and that's the 12th for St. Clair. Match point now getting underway. Lebanon Valley have no answer for the demons of the Saints. Casper is big chilling right now, like especially that he's 20 and 8. He's like, Ooh, I'm chilling right like now. <laughs> yeah, Casper's just like chilling out, having a good time right now. But here we go. Instant replay once again. VCAN finds one early on Reliable. John Cook will answer back with a Judge Frag, but Blossom gets one there with VCAN's help, and then he turns around with the Ghost and finds the second. <clears throat> Blossom's second kill there is what really knocked my socks off. I'll tell you that right there. Uh, what a kill. Now it's going to be 12-3 scoreline. We're looking at, like I was saying, match point in favor of St. Clair. And Lebanon got to win nine in a row to force an OT. It's oh, not oh. impossible, like I said before. John Cook and I don't know who. They find two without even getting a trade. But Casper going to push up and he's going to get shut down as well. This might be a start of a turnaround for Lebanon. As it's a near flawless round. VCAN will find one, though. It's the Odin. It's the Odin. I'm <laughs> telling you. I'm telling you. It's the Odin. Yeah. Props man. for them. Uh, I mean, despite Lebanon winning that round, I, they, they still have so much work to do. You got to win eight in a row still. St. Clair on a bye. Going to make things still tough for the side of Lebanon. Um, and you see Wombat. I, I, he's using some hand signals there. So maybe he's telling some information to the team. He's trying to get a uh, strat ran through or something like that. But St. Clair looking like they're going to focus A over here towards the offense. They're going to have to deal with the Jet and the Omen, I believe that is. He's like, this Odin. This Odin guy. <laughs> Yeah, so early Silver Dart's going to come through to try to gather some intel. It will actually not pick up that player that's tucked around and long, though. So uh, Casper doesn't know that there's a player to his right, I don't think. And I think Casper might lose his life here in result. Or he might check his corner. Yeah, no, no, no. Cause, no, because they, they Silver Darted it, and they didn't think, like, they didn't pick anything up. Reliable just hit in the corner, and he didn't get picked up by the Silver Dart. So Casper going to get fragged through there. But the nonetheless, the rest of the players are on C. So... It's going to now be a 5-on-4 retake in favor of Lebanon Valley. Uh, but St. Clair's post plants have been fairly good in this game. I think that's the Astro Wall from the side of St. Clair as well. So this is not going to be an easy retake for the side of uh, Lebanon. Oh, uh, it never is. If the Garage pushes, what's a concern though? Is anybody watching Garage for St. Clair? Oh, but we also have our, our Cypher. Just on a big flank through Garage as well. Oh my goodness. Wombat finds one there. JRC finds one. Wombat finds a second. Claude Blanks are back. But it doesn't matter because Cypher's also on a flank for the side of St. Clair. There's no shot that the side of Lebanon wins this. There's no shot. That is going to be one for VCAN. Claude going to find one. Claude finds a second. 1v1, but no time for the defuse. GG's in the chat. St. Clair force a game number three. <laughs> you can see JRC down there. He's like, yay, we got it back. We just need to win one more. Yeah, and then you see Strider walk behind him. All right, guys, one more. Like, come on, simmer down. Simmer down in here. We got another one to do with. Let's go, boys. <laughs> but yeah, so St. Clair there. Nonetheless, great games. They answer back strongly. 
Honestly, after Le uh, Lebanon won that first game, I got very concerned for the St. Clair morale, but I think that just completely resets everything, puts it out to a clean slate. Uh, we're essentially in a one and done here now, and it's Breeze with the Saints starting on defense. Um, I think the Saints clean up Breeze with ease. I'm going to be completely honest with you right now. I think the Saints have, will have no problem on Breeze, and I think we see another dominant game just like that. <sighs> It's very difficult to say. Okay, here's why. Here's why I say it, it's it does wonders when the Saint Clair starts on the defending side. Personally, in my opinion, starting defending side for the Saints always going to be a favorite for them, even if it's like Breeze or Haven, something like that. Um, the defending side, they just I feel like whenever they start defending side, they have a lot better chance to win this map. And their morale is up now. Where the side of Lebanon, not so much. Saint Clair is warmed up. Um, Saint Clair has more experience playing in high pressure situations like this, where Lebanon going to be stressing, like they're going to be shaking in their boots right now. They have to win this map to like okay i'm not exactly sure right now we're gonna have to dive in it would, it would take so long to figure out if they make playoffs or not but lebanon yeah like i was saying um it, it, it's so hard the pressure on them is so much right now so i think we're sending this one to a quick five minute break real quick for these players to grab a drink and whatnot and use the washroom or whatever and we will be so stay with us we'll be right back st Clair college and lebanon gonna be tied 1-1 here about to hit into a game number three my name jackson the Brown, joined alongside donka j donka we'll be right back with you guys in just a minute but you know what I mean, right? So JRC gonna swing through, finds that rain off, spots out another. That's gonna be Nyx, but Nyx will clean it up. Casper getting a refrag. I don't know who finds that one though, but VK not another refrag. Three on one in favor of St. Clair. And the last player for Lebanon Valley will be that Jet, who does come through on a flank. Having to deal with that. Like, it's not fun. JRC getting a flank, will find that pick, but it's still a two on three now. And it's all up to Casper and JRC coming through here. That's a great rain eye to really try to open things up, but it will not work out fully how you'd like. And it will result in I don't know who and Nyx. Nest and garage, and it's all up to the arena here now to try to make something work off it. And uh, it does look like when this smoke clears, we might have an engagement. I really love VCAN's positioning here. Oh, VCAN! Exactly why I loved his positioning. Lines them up, shuts them down. Oh, Wombat needed at least one there, and he can't find it. Now it's also going to allow the Reyna to overheal. Good. Thank goodness for Casper to find one, and another, and a third for JRC and Casper. That is going to be a bunch of massive picks as Casper picks up another on the Reyna. This A push is getting shut down. But they got to get out of this defending side spawn and just make their entries. JRC going to fly in with knives. He does spot out one in long haul. Peeking up these corners. Doesn't spot anything through. There's one for Casper, and there's one for Wombat. They're just going to hold this player long. They find it. And they have plenty of time for the defuse. St. Clair, it's so big. Patience is key. Look at the trigger. Trigger discipline. There's one. There's two. Pick it up, please. Please. I want it for you, Casper. No, he's getting shot down from the marshal. But great place. Like, there's a 200 IQ place. And a one on three. All up the clod in his dear old dear Aries. Oh, lo lo uh, love it. <laughs> Odin versus Aries and Wombat cleans it up. Wow, the light machine guns, bro. Any second and reliable is got it. But if one for one, you take those all day for that him being in that positioning. Now Claude, though, gonna get shut down, doesn't even find one. St. Clair, like you were saying, the best defense is offense. They're going crazy on these post plants, and it's a near flawless round. The attacking side gonna take a more come through. VCAN will open this up, takes down reliable, and that's gonna be the judge though, going a little bit big, but does it matter? One VCAN and Blossom can make plays like that! Turn and burn with the ghost! Shut him down! Cat Gotta win nine in a row to force an OT. It's oh, not no. impossible, like I said before. John Cook and I don't know who, they find two without even getting a trade, but Casper gonna push up and he's gonna get shut down as well. This might be a start of a turnaround for Lebanon as it's a near flawless round. VCAN will find matter because Cypher's also on a flank for the side of St. Clair. There's no shot that the side of Lebanon wins this. There's no shot. Uh, it is gonna be one for VCAN. Claude gonna find one. Claude finds a second 1v1, but no time for the defuse. GG's in the chat. St. Clair force a game number three. <laughs> you can see JRC down there, he's like, yay!